Drive part of the show. I've got some fantastic support acts are going to come out. And what I need you to do is just get a fucking incredible energy in this room. Loads of fucking whooping and cheering yeah. as we bring on the first act of the day. Because it's enough of a joke as it is. <laughs> <laughs> I almost judge you for laughing. At <laughs> um, I don't know if I broke any GDPR rules telling you that story, by the way, but one, didn't tell you his name, two, didn't tell you where he was, and three, they fired me, so fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> um, but right now, I am currently working in the NHS. Yes! <laughs> I can't see any pots and pans, but please do applause. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. I work in admin. Um, <laughs> and when people hear that, I do usually get a sympathetic, well, that counts. And I say, I know. <laughs> Have you ever been around a doctor? They're like hyper-intelligent, life-saving toddlers. <laughs> when the nurses aren't looking after them on the award, we are backstage, as it were. It's always going to grab their hand and just be like, no, your surgery's this way. <laughs> yes, you do have to fill in that paperwork. <laughs> no, the blood samples do not go by my cheese sandwich. <laughs> True story. <laughs> Um, but I was really excited about this job because I finally got to work in a women's majority office. Nice. So yeah. excited. It was the dream. I got there. <laughs> <sighs> We're awful. <laughs> Women are absolutely the worst. We're almost as bad as men. <laughs> um, but it's a different kind of awful. I find that if you work in a very male-heavy office, they'll scratch their balls and say weird shit like, Charles Manson was framed. <laughs> <laughs> Another true story, weirdly enough. Uh, whereas women only share a little bit. <laughs> I could walk into the office on my first day and someone's like, hi, I'm Linda, I'm a Capricorn, I hate my husband and I have four months to live. <laughs> 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 um, and it's very weird because a lot of them are mothers and as I learned from my mother, 
If she has any colleagues, they know everything about you. <laughs> I'm still haunted by being on the call with my mum, and she says, so I was telling Deborah about your smear test, and I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Who the fuck is Deborah? <laughs> extremely weird being on the other side of that, being too old to be their children, but being too young to really get it. So I still have to fend them off and say like, no Linda, I do not care where your son was masturbating, I'm not here to kink shame. <laughs> <laughs> and that is what we call intergenerational solidarity. <laughs> well that's enough rambling from me, so thank you very much for your attention today. Yeah. I missed it. <laughs>